my name is Becca Birkenstad, and I am the marketing director at OCMG. Uh, today, we are here with Rick Witted. Thank you very much for being with us today. We're so excited to talk with you. Glad to be here, Becca. So am I. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You know, OCMG has had a long history working with you, uh, with your speaking career, and uh, and some of our client events. We're we're so happy to hear about all of your success and to get into that today. Great, let's get at it. Uh, let's get started um, with a short video clip, um, so we can see your speaking career in action. The decisions about your career are made at tables you don't sit at. Can I say that again? The decisions about your career are made at tables you don't sit at. So here's the question. What's the conversation at the table? The conversation at the table is not your performance. I know you thought it was. The conversation at the table is not your quality of work particularly for engineers, I know you thought it was. The conversation at the table is about your attitude. It's 100% about your attitude. Your name doesn't come up at the table if you don't have the basics. You've got to be good at your job. You've got to be consistent. There has to be quality in, the, in your work. But I would venture 200 and almost 50 of you meet that criteria. That doesn't bring your name up at the table. Your attitude does. That brought back some memories it's been a few <laughs> years ago there. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, could you please share your story with us and, and just let us know, like, how did you get to where you are today? So our careers above all are emotional and we're so unaware of it. So that's what I write about. That's what I talk about. Um, and I think that's critical to navigate your career. I wrote a, a test. I designed a test that helps you uncover that. What really how do you really define careers? How do you emotionally and mentally translate what career progression means to you? So, and what, what matters to me is, is am, I, am I really adding value? Is there meaning and balance in what I do and the way I do it? So this was just a natural evolving for me to leave the corporate world after more than two and a half decades and come over to an organization that's really making a difference in the lives of folks that are in need. Well, it sounds like um, a lot of research and a lot of experiences went into your the, went into inspiring your book, um, Outgrow Your Space at Work and your motivational speaking career. Now I want to switch gears here and talk a little bit about U.S. hunger. I'm just going to play a quick video for us. more about U.S. hunger. Yeah, so you were just looking at what we call a hunger project. And uh, for over a decade, this organization has been around and we address hunger. And we primarily did that historically through uh, volunteerism events. And so mm -hmm. we have brought in over the course of a decade, more than 830,000 volunteers um, to pack more than 150 meals that have been distributed across 53 countries. That's kind of the stat um, response. What does that mean? Um, often we find organizations, employers who really have a group of people, as I said earlier, that meaningfulness is important and impact is important to them. And our hunger projects is a great way to put on an event that directly addresses um, uh, hunger in the world by packing meals. Uh, and then what most folks don't know is that, that you know, more than 80% of those meals are distributed to local food banks and pantries and organizations 
that our partners get to choose. And sometimes they come back to our virtual food bank um, we call full cart. And so that really um, is kind of one of the primary roles we do at U U.S. Hunger. We're great at having, ha you know, creating fun and happy volunteerism events, as you saw there, high energy, high engagement. We pack meals. We do a great job. We take a lot of pictures. There's a lot of music. There's a lot of laughing. There's a lot of competition. Um, and we do just, we really get to put our hands at addressing hunger. Um, and I know that's a big topic today. So that's been the legacy part of U.S. Hunger. Uh, we, our legacy, our former name was, uh, we just rebranded in this past year, is Feeding Children Everywhere, a name that we, we continue to use in our, our international overseas business. We also have Full Cart Program, which is a domestic virtual food bank. And we literally ship fresh produce that's packed at the farm or shelf-stable food box directly to the front door of individuals in oftentimes high poverty and uh, food desert areas, which are places that in communities that don't have immediate accessibility or walkability to fresh food. Um, and so it's a really dynamic organization. We're very data driven um, and uh, that's who we are and that's what we do. And I love it. I am. I can uh, tell, I, I can tell. I love it. It's fun. We have a lot of fun and we, we really do get to change lives. We read, we've provided food to more than 100,000 homes across the country um, in the past year and a half. And we literally get verbatim stories from every one of those households. And they're, they're impactful um, when someone says, I, you know, I, I literally just had to pawn my wedding ring and, but your box of food, we had no idea where we would get our next meal from. So we see stories like that constantly and it's, it's really hard and we can't meet all of those needs, but through our packing events business and through um, our full cart virtual food bank, we're able to really make a difference. And I'm proud of that, very proud of that. Yeah, you should be, that's amazing. Can you, can you tell um, our audience, what are some of the root causes of food insecurity? Yeah. It's a really good question, and I'm glad you asked that, because I think that's one of the things that's different about uh, U.S. hunger, because we actually start with this question, why are they hungry in the first place? Mm -hmm. And our program is built on two basic pillars, discretion. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to share with somebody that I can't meet um, a Maslow's most basic hierarchy of need, feeding myself or my children mm -hmm. uh, or my family. Uh, and because our platform is virtual, it just provides discreet way of having that conversation that doesn't embarrass anyone. That's why you rarely see a family picture, you know, on anything when we're talking about U.S. hunger because discretion is critical. And unless that family wants to share, we don't, we don't share. Uh, the other is dignity. And so we provide literally a farm to table produce box or shelf stable box of food. Because of that, they tell us their story. We literally get a verbatim story. And what we are learning um, is that the biggest misconception about hunger mm -hmm. uh, in this country is that it's not about food. Mm -hmm. It's about other things like housing, uh, or financial literacy or access to the financial system without paying check cashing fees, um, you know, or transportation to healthcare services that are needed, or I need to provide health. I have diabetes and I need a really good endocrinologist, but there's not one in the neighborhood I live in. Whoa. Can't get to it. Yeah. Um, and while you would say, well, you know, you should be healthier and, and go work out and there's no green space in that area either. My neighborhood is lined with green spaces. Mm -hmm. Those neighborhoods aren't it. Mm -hmm. And so it's really an issue of accessibility um, in a variety of things that the, the world would know as social determinants of health. Mm -hmm. That's these socioeconomic things that um, are often poverty related that um, um, really determine the outcome, the health outcome of a population. And so we're learning that it's not about food, that, that hunger is about accessibility 
Mm -hmm. And um, we try to do that and meet that need through gaining actionable intelligence in our data system, as well as getting food directly to the front door. And how does um, food insecurity relate to people of color? In our <laughs> That's, it's, it's so interesting. Um, I heard uh, one of our partners, uh, Dr. Shelley, Mm -hmm. uh, say that, um, show me your zip code and I'll show you how healthy you are. Mm. Um, to give you an example of that one local, um, a county that we, uh, work with, uh, their health department, um, shared that eight zip codes, uh, in eight zip codes in the county, infant mortality rate in those counties, um, 10, uh, is 2x anywhere else in the county mm -hmm. said said differently an infant's chance of not surviving doubles if you're in these particular eight zip codes we asked for those eight zip codes and we we plugged those into our data system what we found was um that those eight zip codes outline the largest food desert in that county wow. uh, number one Two, we found out that they were 70 to 86% um, in those zip codes, Black, Hispanic, or Caribbean. Mm. Um, and so they were really centered around communities and neighborhoods of colors. But we saw other things like a lack of accessibility to, to transportation for, for medical appointments or groceries. They were all in food deserts. Uh, and so there is, there tends to be in black and brown, um, uh, Hispanic, Caribbean uh, oriented communities, just a lack of access to things that are just essential for a healthy outcome for that community and for those individual families. That's, that's so important to remember. And, you know, we ask, you know, as corporations, how can we get involved and how can we help? Yeah, um, and, and I'll tell you, I think there's two ways. One, your your people, they want to make a difference. Mm -hmm. Meaning is at the top of the list of folks um, that are trying to figure out what progression in their life means. And meaning is a big part of that. Am I moving forward? They want to put their hands to doing something that matters. Mm -hmm. And our meal packing events um, activity is just a great way to do that. You have to experience one to really get that. So I think that's one way you can literally hands on support. Um, we, we also uh, are looking uh, for partners to come alongside and help us. You know, when I tell you we've got a virtual food bank, I have more than 40,000 applicants. We didn't solicit, we didn't market, they found us online that I can't fund today. And uh, we're able to provide geo mapping and, and data about where your impact is happening. And we literally can show you who we're feeding literally around all of your office locations across the country. Mm -hmm. So you can really make a difference if that's a matching a program or, um, you know, something to that effect. We'd love to talk to organizations. What we tend to find is companies love our Hunger Project um, event. It's just so fun. And it's a way to get food back into the community at, you know, literally thousands and hundreds of thousands of meals, not millions of meals. Yeah, that I, you know what, to give people a visual, I'd like to share a video on that, um, that you, uh, your team has provided us. Awesome. All right, next on three, one, two, three.
literally packed a million meals within an hour. Bunch of music, bunch of high energy and fun. Um, but we coordinate um, events like that. But we also do small six, 10, 12 people um, events as well. It could be just leadership staff um, and they're packing food and it's just as fun. Um, and so that's one of the things we do really, really well. And I'm really proud of the team, how they deliver a concierge style service. We take care of it all. You pick the venue, you pick the place, we get the food there. Um, we coordinate the event, we do the arrest and our, our team is really good at relationship managing those projects. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, they look so fun. And I am so honored to be able to talk with you today. Thank you so much for your time. Can you tell us where can our audience find you and U.S. Hunger? So you can uh, send an email directly to Rick at U.S. Hunger and, um, you know, whatever your inquiry uh, is between myself or my team, we will respond very quickly to those queries um, and answer any question um, you want. You could also go to ushunger.org and uh, you can, there's just a plethora of information about who we are. And you, you if you want to volunteer, if you want uh, more information on a hunger project or our full cart program, you'll find uh, a way to connect us there as well. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, and, Becca. Uh, we can't wait to talk with you again soon. Take care. Thanks a lot. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.